Hey, this is Lewis from Oxygen, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create these custom hexagon links with the hover effect where you mouse over and they rotate, they expand, and the color fades in. Now, if you're coming from other builders, you might be thinking, okay, this is just some pre-made built-in element of Oxygen. No, that is not what this is. We are going to build these out from scratch using Oxygen's fundamental elements with absolutely zero code. And this is really going to illustrate the power and flexibility of Oxygen versus other builders. Because you couldn't build these yourself with any other visual builder unless you bought some add-on pack or you wrote code. And this is pretty advanced HTML and CSS that we're going to use to do this. But this is all possible using Oxygen's visual editor. So okay, let's get started. So here I am in Oxygen. The first thing I'm going to do is add in a section to the page. And we're going to set the section background image. I've already uploaded this image to the media library. And what we're going to do is we're going to make it uh, black on top, black on the bottom, and just let the image fade through in the center here. So to do that, we're going to play gradient. And we're going to add black. And we're going to add black three times. You can use as many colors as you want in a gradient and oxygen, not just two. And then we're going to take this middle black and we're going to fade it out so it's about 75% transparent. So the image just barely comes through in the middle. So that's a pretty cool effect. And now in this section, we're just going to go ahead and add in an icon, a heading, and some text. And okay, that's, that's what we got here, icon, heading, some text. And let's just say that we want to promote three services we have. So we'll call this something like our services. Um, discover what we can do for your business. And let's go ahead and center everything in this section and then go to typography, set the color to white to make all of the text here white. And then for this icon, let's choose something from linear icons to look a little better. Let's go with uh, the building here. And let's shrink this down to 48 pixels. Okay, there we go. That's the easy part. Now let's actually create these hexagons. So each one of these is a link. So to start off, I'm going to add a link wrapper to the page. I'll go add link wrapper. And this link wrapper is going to be our hexagon. Now we want to apply the exact same styles to all of the link wrappers. So we're going to go choose a selector to edit and add a class. We're going to call this hexagon. And now we can apply this hexagon class to other link wrappers and make them shaped like a hexagon. So inside this link wrapper, we're going to put in an icon and a heading. So this heading's too big, let's choose a smaller size. Let's go with H2. And let's apply a class to this heading. I'll call this uh, hexagon heading. And I'll call this one hexagon icon. And let's go ahead and set both these to be white. And let's set this to be 48 pixels. And let's make this text here a little bit shorter. So we'll put in, let's say, marketing. Okay, so here is our link wrapper with our icon and our text. Let's go ahead and make it shape like a hexagon. So the first thing we're going to do is give it a width and height. So we're going to go to advanced, size and spacing, and we're going to give it a width of 240 pixels and a height of 150 pixels. And then so we can see what we're doing, we're going to put a background color on the link wrapper. So we're going to primary background color, and I'm going to choose this global purple I already have set up. So Okay, here we go. Uh, let's duplicate this three times now. And let's go ahead and space it out from the other link wrappers. So I'll go to advanced, size and spacing, and let's put uh, 15 pixels of margin on all sides. Space it out from the headings. Let's make them shape like hexagons. So to do that, we're gonna overlay two other rectangles onto the link wrapper, and we're gonna rotate them to achieve the hexagon shape. So the first thing we're going to do is set the after state. So we're going to go to state, choose after. This is also known as a pseudo element. And we're going to give this a background color of orange just temporarily so you can see what we're doing here. And now we're going to go to advanced, size and spacing. And we're going to give this the exact same size we gave to the original link wrapper. So the original link wrapper is 150 pixels tall. That means we'll use 75 pixels of padding on both sides. 
and the original link wrapper is 240 pixels wide, that means we'll use 120 pixels of padding on both sides. And that results in a rectangle of the exact same size as the original link wrapper. However, it's positioned uh, past this text, and we don't want that. We want to actually control the position absolutely. So to do that, we're going to go back to All Styles, Layout, choose Position Absolute. This is going to position it absolutely relative to the link wrapper. And now let's go ahead and rotate this to start creating the hexagon. So we're going to go to All Styles, Effects, Transform, Add Transform, choose Rotate, which is a default and we're going to give it a 60 degree rotation. Next up, let is, let's use the before state to create another rectangle and rotate that 120 degrees. So we'll go to before, go to primary, let's just give it a background color so you can see what's happening here. Go to advanced size and spacing, 75 pixels padding, 120 pixels padding on the left and right, and back to layout, position, absolute, and then we'll go back to advanced effects, transform, add another rotation transform, and here's 60. Let's keep rotating until we get the hexagon. And here we go. Uh, let's go all the way to 120 actually. Okay, there we go. So there is our hexagon effect. Now let's make them all the same color, of course. So let's go back to primary, set background color to inherit. This is gonna use the background color of the parent, which is the hexagon. Let's go to after, do the same. And okay, now we've got a purple hexagon. The problem is these rectangles created with before and after are covering up our text. So to fix that, we're gonna go into our text in our icon, go to advanced, layout, Z index, and set that to one. That's gonna bring it to the front. And we're gonna do for the same for the heading, advanced, layout, Z index. And okay, here we go. Now let's round out the corners of our hexagon. So let's go back to the link wrapper and go to advanced borders. Let's try a border radius of 18 pixels. And we're also gonna have to set that on the before and the after. And here we go. Now we have a nice border radius here. And now let's just lay these out in sort of this honeycomb pattern. So to do that, we're actually gonna add a div below this text. And we're gonna put two of the link wrappers in the div. That's wrapper number one, wrapper number two. Then we're gonna go to this div and we're gonna choose to stack child elements horizontally. And there we go, now they show up next to each other. Next up, uh, let's just add some space below this div until we've got the pattern we want. Perfect. Okay, now let's tweak the pixels a little bit. So we're just gonna add some spacing below this icon. Let's change this text a little bit. So let's change this to say marketing, um, SEO, and branding. And let's change the icons just so it looks good. So let's go with linear icons. Let's choose, choose some random icons here. And let's get the last one. Okay, looking good. Now let's add in the hover effects. So let's click the link wrapper and set up the hover state. So we're gonna go to state, hover, and let's go to advanced, effects, transform, and we're gonna rotate it. We're gonna rotate this 360 degrees on hover. So it's gonna look like it did before, it's just gonna spin around to get there. And let's scale it up on hover as well. So go transform, scale. Let's scale it up by a factor of 1.1 on all sides. And there we go, you mouse over, it rotates 360 degrees and scales. But of course, you can't see a 360 degree rotation unless it happens slowly. So we're gonna set up a transition. So let's go back to the link wrapper, go to advanced, effects, transition, and let's give it a transition duration of about half a second. Now you mouse over, it scales up. Lastly, let's make this black and white until the mouse hovers over it. So we'll go to effects, filter, grayscale, and we'll make it 100% grayscale. And then let's go to hover and change the filter to 0%.
And there we go. That is how to create a hexagon hover link using oxygen. Again, this is Lewis from Oxygen, and thank you very much for watching.